Hi everyone, this is Sandy Lemke from FreeWebsiteTutorials.com. This is actually part two of a tutorial that I did where I shared how to find website keywords using Google AdWords and then dumping them into Excel so that you could process through them. And I showed people how to do it in kind of a manual way. And at the end of the video, I said that, you know, although I was showing people step by step how to use filters in Excel to find keywords and process them, in actuality, I use macros in Excel to help speed up that process. And so I promised that I would create a video that would show people just how to use macros in Excel. So that's what this one's all about. Part two, how to use macros in Excel to find keywords more quickly. And even if you're just using Excel for just processing data, not necessarily keywords, hopefully you will find that this video is helpful. So let's go into Excel. And you may or may not be familiar with filters. If you're not, basically all you do is you create or you uh, highlight the top row and you just go data, filter, auto filter. That's how you actually, I just turned it off, but you go data, filter, auto filter to turn it on. And filters really just help you process things in each column. So I'm just going to briefly show you what I did in the last video. Um, and then give you an idea of what it looks like when you use a macro and I'm going to record a macro so that you can see what I'm doing and I've got to speed it up here because I can only fit so much in a video so hopefully I won't go too fast. Alright so basically the reason why you would want to use filters is when you want to filter out certain things like for example if you're looking for keywords maybe you don't want to look at keywords that have a huge amount of competition so you can come in here and you can say okay go into custom and then say give me the keywords that are less than you know maybe 74 percent and what that'll do is it'll you'll notice in here that it'll cut out any ones that are 74 or greater there's the 73's but nothing over 74 then maybe what you want to do is filter on this one custom this is search volume how many people search for a keyword maybe you want search volume, give me search volume that is greater than maybe 300. And this is a way that you can sort down your list to get to something that's more manageable. Well, if you don't want to go through this every single time when you're looking for keywords, setting these thresholds, sorting things out, putting the filters on and all that, what you can do is you can record a macro of you doing that, you know, those steps one time and then the next time and the next time and the next time all you have to do is say you know give me the macro give me the macro and it will process exactly in those steps that you recorded so let's pretend that we've done nothing with filters I'm gonna go data filter I'm gonna uncheck this let's pretend that this is the data just as it looks when I dumped it in from wherever in this case I got it from AdWords so what I'm gonna do to record an uh, or I'm gonna show you what it looks like to use a macro that I've already recorded. This is just raw data. So all I have to do is go tools, macro, macros, and it's gonna go, it's gonna give me a list of the prior macros that I've recorded. And this top one right here, keyword research, is the one that I will typically use. So if I just hit run, boom, what it does is it puts my filter in for me. It puts in all the thresholds that I found it, that I found acceptable for each one of these columns, and that's all there is to it. A prior macro that I recorded, hit click on it, it opens it up, and boom, I've got it done. When you get busy doing keywords or really any other data, you normally are going to have several tabs worth of data, and it just takes too long to do the same functions over and over and over again. So again, let's reverse this. We're going to take this off. Now that you see what the macro is going to do for us, we're going to take that off. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to actually record one and show you what you have to do. So this time we're going to go Tools, Macro, but this time we're going to go Record New Macro. It's going to ask me to name it. It's pretty tip. Um, pretty uh, fussy about the name here. You can't have any spaces in the name. So this time I'm just going to say macro, you know, tutorial. That's what I'm going to name it. And that's really all I do is I just name it like that. You can create a shortcut if you're going to do the same thing over and over again for yourself so you don't have to go into the menu to retrieve this macro. But 
I don't do them that often, um, you know, to where I feel like I have to have a shortcut. So anyway, if you wanted to, you could do it there. But okay, the name is not valid. See what I mean? It's really um, fussy about the name. So no, no. It, what the deal was there is that you can't have any um, spa or, uh, slashes in there. So let's just go macro tutorial. All right, there we go. Now you get this little box down here. And basically, it's going to record from this point forward what I'm doing. So I'm going to pretend I'm doing it from scratch. I'm going to put my filter in, data, filter. It's recording me now. And then I'm going to say, OK, in the competition column, I'm going to do a custom threshold. I want to keep the stuff that's less than or only the stuff that's less than, I'm going to say less than 73 to get rid of the 73s this time. And then I'm going to, in search volume, I would like to look at those items that are greater than, oh, 200 visitors. Okay, and then what I want to do after I do that is I want to sort this out, data, sort. I'd like to see it in order of competition first, and then uh, search volume second. And is there anything else that I want to do or want this macro to do for me? I think that's it. So I'm going to hit stop recording, and that is it. Now I've got my macro. So let's let's go see it work for for our. You know, we're going to go demonstrate what we just recorded. Let's take all this off, remove it all. It's all back to the raw data. Now we all we have to do to retrieve it is go tools macro this time we just go to macros because it's already recorded we don't need to record it so we go macros and now we look for the one that we named it there it is macro tutorial all we got to do is say run and there it is it did it exactly the way I wanted to do it so that's basically how you do it this once you get this technique down you will save yourself so much time not only processing website keywords but any kind of data, large amounts of data that you have to do, typically, you know, when you come into Excel, you find yourself repeating the same steps over and over and over again. That is the purpose of a macro. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if you do need to watch, if you're interested in watching the first tutorial that I did on finding keywords in AdWords and then dumping them into Excel, if you want to see the whole first end of that process, and what I use to evaluate keywords, what my thought process is, you can just go into YouTube and search on website keywords, and I believe you will find the first part of this video. Have a good day.